Last winter, CNB was in Iceland to test the new Land Rover Discovery Sport. This car was first on CNB in an exclusive year in review. The Discovery Sport is built on a modified Range Rover Evoque platform. 20% of its structure is made of high strength boron steel. That's more than any Land Rover and many of the Land Rover staples are updated. The Indian variants have the 2.2 TD4 and SD4 diesel engines as options. Both use JLR's standard 9-speed ZF gearbox. The cabin of the Discovery Sport is a lot roomier than Freelander 2's. The design is sharp and while the material quality is good, it doesn't exude a luxurious feel. And that's intentional as this is the versatile workhouse. Luxury is the preserve of the Range Rover family. The third row is crucial to the Indian buyers. In this segment allows the Discovery Sport to stand apart. It is optional though and not available across variants. The third row of seats do fold up and down easily. And even the second row can be folded for additional cargo needs. The ground clearance on this vehicle is 212 millimeters, which uh, Land Rover says is best in class. And also, you've got a 600 millimeter wading capability. Again, the company says that is the best in the segment. The car has an axle articulation of 320 mm. And like all Land Rovers, this car also has an appropriate approach angle of 25 degrees and a departure angle of 31 degrees to afford better climbing and wading capabilities. We're not going to be testing that on any kind of smooth tarmac today, that's for sure, you can see that, right? What I can tell you though is that we've been riding on these special studded tyres. It does change the ride quality somewhat, it becomes a little noisier and rumblier too, though not too bad in the cabin, but uh, you need these tyres, trust me, in these kind of conditions, they become a huge necessity. The Discovery Sport has received a 5-star Euro NCAP crash rating and besides a whole host of standard safety equipment also has a pedestrian airbag. The car drives very well and handling is assured and solid. Clamshell bonnet, the typical grille up front and also a very typical Land Rover kind of headlamp signature. Now, all of this was too much like the Evoque for some people. The first time we saw the Discovery Sport, there was some criticism that, hang on, like Audi, are all these SUVs now starting to look too much like each other? Having spent some time with the car today, I'm glad to tell you that a little bit of its individuality does come to the fore now. It does have a different stance. We've been seeing a lot of them on the road, some of the other guys who've been driving them. So it does have its own characteristic. The Discovery Sport has launched at prices ranging from 46,10,000 to 62,18,000 rupees. That positioning is steep and may put off some buyers, especially those who are considering cars like Audi Q5 and BMW X3. But for now, we are glad that the car is finally here and can't wait to see how Discovery family pans out whether further models are unveiled globally 2016 onwards.